All right. So the next thing we're gonna do after we get our, our outer beams built, and you'll see that there's a little bit of a bow. It'll all straighten up, so don't worry about it, because we're gonna put these uh, put these center beams in, and it will it will strengthen up and get very very strong as we go. So the next thing we're gonna do are get our hitch taken care of. So with the hitch, I am going to use um, a set of uh, ball links uh, from a 500 uh, helicopter. This is for an Align uh, 500. Um, they're just basically little little ball links. And what I did is I took a, uh, a 3M kind of a wood screw and I basically cut off so it was about a 10 millimeter uh, wood screw. I, I simply screwed it into the end of this ball link and then I cut off the other side, grinded it down a little bit and I'm gonna be screwing it into this, this hole right here. And I'm also gonna glue it just to give it a little bit more so it doesn't uh, back out on itself ever. And again, you don't need to over tighten it. Just get it tight. And that's it. There's your hitch. Pretty much all set up. And the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna attach it, both ends, to our outer beams. And you'll know on the inside of these, these will obviously just go inside of here and there's a screw that holds them in. So I am also going to glue this a little bit. Again, you don't have to get all crazy with it. Oops, sorry, I just uh, hit the camera. Sorry about that. And you'll probably have to clean up these a little bit too off your printer. Just make sure you know, always give it a dry fit first. It should fit really, really good. same size screw on, on this so it's gonna be a 2m screw and but they're gonna be eight they're gonna be a eight millimeter in length so a little bit longer than, than the other ones that we just used Okay, so we got those glued, and this is a little bit of the tricky part because now we're gonna be putting one of our center beams right in here because one of the screws uh, basically needs to go in so it, it not only attaches or uh, secures the tongue, but it also secures one of the center beams. So get one of the center beams, and it's gonna be the one the one here that does not have any, any uh, small holes on the end. Um, this one here, as you can see, it's got three small holes on the end. This goes on the back. So make sure you use that for the back. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of light glue on each side. Again, it doesn't need to be much. And make sure that the, um, the little tab that runs all the way down is on the inside because this is so you can run your, your light wiring if you ever want to. And I'm gonna be using, again, these are all 2M or uh, 2M screw type screws. And uh, the length for this one, I'm gonna be using 16. Or I'm sorry, actually a, a 20 millimeter because I want them to go all the way through and I want them to go into this piece as well.
and it's actually easier if you kind of wait till you feel it coming out or coming through. Now again, it's really important, don't over tighten these. They don't need to be over tightened. And then just make sure it's flat. Kind of like that. And we'll do the other side. All right, so you got the tongue basically all put together and we're gonna just keep moving down now we're gonna start adding our, our center beams. And I do it like this because obviously it opens up back here a little bit so it's a little bit easier to do. Again, just a little bit of CA glue. Don't need much. And I always kind of get my screw started because it's just easier. You want to do one side except for the back don't do the back yet till the end you can do that all right now we just got to add the uh the rear the rear beam that's going to be be it and then we'll be on the putting the wheel buckets on and the wheels. Now with this, again, you're gonna to wanna to use the, um, the 20 millimeter size uh, screws. And you know, I tried to make this thing look as scale as I possibly could and, and for it to be strong. And what I did on the end here, you can kind of see there's a, a screw hole here. And basically your screw's gonna go all the way in here. And it's gonna go all the way to the back. Basically, it comes out right there, so it's a little bit of a, a game show to get it going, but 
it looks really nice once you get it. Apologize if I'm out of the out of the camera view a little bit. But as you can see, the screw basically went from here into here and it's hidden. So you still got full access to your light bucket. And the other side. Just drop that thing in there. It should all line up pretty well. Again, I can't stress it enough, do not over tighten the screws. And there you go. Basically your entire frame is completely done. So if you wanted to paint this thing at this point, it'd be a, it'd be a good time to, to paint it. Um, Kind of one of the strategies I use to paint 3D printed parts so it looks really good is um, use several coats of uh, some really thick uh, fast drying primer like Krylon. Uh, outdoor primer works pretty good because it fills in the gaps. And just do layer, you know, several different layers. Like I've used up to four or five different layers of primer. Um, again, it dries very fast and uh, it's it doesn't run real easy. And you can literally make this thing look like, you know, one solid piece if you wanted to. So, we're looking pretty good right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and attach our, our front piece here. We'll do that right now. And then we're gonna get on to the, um, the wheels and the, light, and the uh, wheel buckets. I don't glue this, this at all. This is just all um, screwed on. And some five millimeter screws. So nothing big, nothing crazy. Again, don't over tighten them. Everything should be fitting really, really good. 